Hey you guys, it's me Via again and I'm going to be doing a plus size haul for Fashion Nova. Now I just recently did a plus size haul for Boohoo.com so I do have a lot of dresses, a lot of tops, but one thing I don't have is winter coats and it's winter time now, it's getting colder and colder, so I wanted to give those a try. So I went on Fashion Nova, I didn't see too many that I liked but I did see three that I was really excited about so I got three jackets. And then I figured that would be a really small haul to do, so I also got two pairs of jeans and I got some chokers. Now they're chokers, they don't have plus size jewelry, so it's just one size fits all. So I wanted to see if their one size fit all chokers would fit around my plus size neck. Um, and then I really wanted to check out their jackets because I have a very hard time finding jackets. Like, sometimes um, the armholes will be really tight. You can't really, you know, do this or you're not too flexible. Um, sometimes the jackets are just really large and boxy because they're like, oh, it's for a plus size girl. She has a lot of her, so it just needs to be huge. And then sometimes it's too tight and they're one of those jackets where you only wear open because you can't really button it even if you tried. So... I wanted to give Fashion Nova a shot and see if their jackets would work for me and possibly they would work for you. Other than that, what have I been up to? I just went to the Orange County Winter Fest. It was so much fun. Honestly, it is a new thing that they're doing. This is their third year running. I believe it's the same people that throw the Orange County Fair. It was so beautiful. They had this giant Christmas tree right when you walk in. I played some games and won my new pug stuffed animal. I named him Petey Pablo. And they also had a little light show. So there was like an area that you can go through and see all these beautiful lights. I really enjoyed it. It's going on until January 7th. If you don't happen to catch it, maybe next year, definitely give it a try. It's a great place to go for families or just on a little romantic date where you're not taking yourself too seriously. But other than that, let's go ahead and jump into this try on. These are the No Promises Distressed Skinny Jeans in Black. They're a size 3X and they're $24.50. I really like the way these fit. Um, oh, I feel like I can't really go on with this video without telling you what's going on in the back. This is a costume I made for my boyfriend. He was Raphael one year for Halloween. This is, we went to the Renaissance Fair. I made him an assassin costume. And this cape I have here, I was Poison Ivy one year. And this anime wig is for a Comic-Con we went to uh, a few months ago. I know we're dorks, but we truly enjoy doing creative things. So, back to the pants. I honestly enjoy the way these pants fit. They're just a little on the thinner side, so I wonder how long it's going to take for the thighs to go out on the inside. But other than that, they are super cute. So these are the Nessa Distressed Jeans in Light. They were a size 3X and they cost $26. Now I really like the way that these fit. They fit like a glove, but yet they're not really tight. Like I still had room um, and they were really stretchy. So I really enjoyed where all the ribs are and even at the bottom where the ankles are. It's distressed some. The one thing I did not like about these jeans is they have faux pockets. Like in 2017, who honestly has faux pockets still? And then I went back and checked the black ones, and those had faux pockets as well. Ugh, hate that, but the style was cute. So this is the Ways to Go Trench Coat in Camel. It's a size 3X, and it's $22.75. Now here you can see that it also doesn't have any pockets. I don't really care for that because it's a jacket, but... It fits really nicely. It's very pretty. Even though I don't ever wear this color because I feel like it washes me out, it actually is really nice. The arms are too long, but I can just sew that, or you can just fold them under to make them what length you want. Um, the other thing I noticed about this jacket is that the zipper is one of those zippers that kind of takes a lot. Like, it stops every few zips and it just it's not the smoothest zipper I don't really like that and then they have all this extra lining inside so it gets caught and tangled and if that's gonna annoy you then definitely don't buy this jacket but to be honest I don't really think I'm going to wear it closed very often so it's not a big thing for me but this belt is extremely long like when I put it through the clasp um, there was like a million miles left on it so that's not really something that I would keep that way. I would probably just cut the clasp off so the end up so that I can just tie it like a nice little um, belt that I can just put a bow in or, or something like that. But as you can see here, it was not easy to take the zipper down either. So that's one thing to consider with this one. I don't think I'm a fan of the fact that my jacket doesn't have pockets and my pants doesn't have pockets, but it is a really cute look. So I would definitely bring a purse. 
So this one is the Ricky Faux Suede Jacket in Olive. It's a 3X and it costs $22.75. Now, I don't have any gripes with this one. I really love this one. It's super cute. It is a very true olive color. It doesn't have any pockets or anything like that, but it's just a sweater, so that's absolutely fine. Um, I really love that it is a faux suede jacket because with me being vegan, I don't purchase anything that has to do with animal cruelty. So I really loved this one all around. It just fit really nicely and it was such a beautiful color. I really am excited with this purchase. This one is the Ellis Suede Duster Jacket in the color Rust. It was a 3X and it was $26. Now this one I was super excited for, but they've got some issues. The arms are really big and they're super long. Um, it doesn't really close properly, so I don't really understand why they have this um, more of a functional belt that actually has, you know, like a belt clasp on it and actual rivets in it. I don't, I didn't really get that because it doesn't fit as if it should close. So once I fix the issues with how big the sleeves are, maybe I'll like it a little better. So this is the Manhattan Coat in the color Hunter. It's a 3X and it was $26. I really like this one. It's uh, very heavy duty. I didn't think it would be this warm. So I really appreciate that for days where it's super cold. Um, the arms are super long, but once again, I can just cuff them or sew them. And I'm sorry for my webcam going in and out on the color, but the color is actually really, really beautiful. All right, so um, let's go ahead and get in. It's chokers that I bought. This one is going to be choker number one. It's super youthful and playful with the heart smack dab in the center. I do have a tiny bit of chain link left. So that's really good to know that their non plus size items, well, jewelry still does fit on a plus size neck. So I'm super excited to see what the other styles look like on me. Now this one is super cute. It is very simple. I would think that I would be more prone to the ones that are this simple, just like a simple little black band. But these little gold ball accents in the center, I actually really like them. And it still has some chain link left, so I really like that it is consistent so far around as far as this one fits just like the other one did. So this one isn't my favorite. It is just a gold link chain. Um, for me, gold link chains are um, they're kind of tacky as far as just accents go. Um, well, they can go very tacky very easily. So, and I'm also not a fan of the fact that it spins and does kind of different things instead of just like laying flat. Um, but if you really like chains and that's your style, if you are a 3X size 20, at least it probably will fit around your neck. This one is cute and simple. It's super comfortable on. It's not really tight or anything. I'm just debating because I don't know since it's a little wider. I don't have a very long neck. So I don't know if I could really pull this one off. I feel like it just kind of chops my neck off. But I don't know. What do you think? You think I can pull that off? I don't know. But it is comfortable. Alrighty, so this one is definitely really different. This one for me makes me feel like Frankenstein, like there's just like screws coming out of my neck. I don't know, but um, it still has these little indents here um, from the packaging. From where this area is, it's still pretty bent. I don't know how long it's going to take for that to go away, but honestly, I'm not really that worried because I'm not really interested in wearing it. It's like, it's different, but I don't know. It's not really my favorite. I really like this one. <laughs> I cheated and wore this one already to the Orange County Winterfest, but I love it. It's super simple. It's just this on-trend rose gold color. Um, I like that it doesn't have a bunch of rhinestones, a bunch of chains. It's just really simple and beautiful on its own. I like that the inside has this really soft felt material so it's not scratchy when you talk. I really like this one. It can kind of elevate anything you have on, like what I have on now. It's just a really nice piece and I really enjoy it. Alright, so this one is super long and I'm guessing you're just supposed to wrap it around your neck a bunch of times. So, uh, let's go. Yeah, this looks long enough. And then I think you just kind of tie it in the front and have these little ones dangle. Maybe if I would have made it um, even, it'd be nicer, but 
Honestly, I do like it. It has this really western feel. Like if I were to wear something super casual and just want to spice it up with this little choker, I think this would be a great accent to add to it. I really actually do like it. And the chokers were a part of the Delson choker set and they came with seven chokers and they were only $5.19. So wrapping this up, I honestly do think that there were a lot of hits with my Fashion Nova haul. There were a few misses, but not big enough for me to send them back. I honestly do just think I'm going to sew some of the issues that I had so that I can still wear them. I hope this helped you if you were interested in buying outerwear from Fashion Nova, and I'll see you next time. Outer jackets are very hit or miss, and I just can't, I can't seem to talk right now. I just, I can't seem to talk. So the Orange County Winterfest is honestly just a great place to bring my kids your kids <laughs> your kids i don't even have kids so let's just jump into it and let's see how clothes go how how clothes go how the clothes go how how these clothes go why am i saying go <laughs>